Hi, and today I'm briefly going to talk to you about two ways that I use Office 365 to get pupils to self-assess and get some feedback on the lesson and just check each other's understanding. So the first app I'm going to show you is possibly a fairly obvious one and that's Discussion Board. Um, and that will allow me to get students to ask each other questions. Um, and there's an option in Discussion Board, if I add it, where a student can pose a question to the class. So if I just put the Discussion Board in very briefly, um, and we're going to call it Peer Assessment, and we'll click Create, and that's obviously now adding this app in as Peer Assessment. What it allows me to do, though, is if students go into Peer Assessment, they can create a new discussion, and they can call it... Um, so I might say, what is the top of a river chord? So that might be one thing that they want to test um, other people in the class and make sure that they've got out the lesson. This is the key bit where it says question. I'm asking this as a question. So I would click that and then click save. What that will now do is it will add that as a discussion and it means that other students can very quickly get in there and start asking replies. Now what I often do is say, okay, all of you need to ask one question and they'll all get a question in there and then everyone's got a chance to go in and answer it. All they'll then need to do is click on that uh, question that they want to answer, uh, add a reply, so they might say um, mouth, which is obviously wrong because that's the other end of the river, and reply, and then that wouldn't get marked as the right answer. It then just leaves the student that asked the question to click on the answer and say um, this is correct. So all they would need to do is click on the three little dots and click best reply and that would then say this is the correct answer. So that's one way they can self-assess and they'll know who's answered their question correctly. Um, another way they can self-assess is using a survey. Now this time it's not going to be the survey in sight. I would recommend actually rather than that survey because that's really meant for you as a teacher. Um, they use the SkyDrive and then click on new document and Excel survey. Um, the benefit of using an Excel survey is they've got the ability cre to create it without you messing around with permissions in sites. So they can create their own Excel survey, they can type in as many questions as they want, and they can share it with the entire class. Now they can share it to the site, they can share it to the group, or they can share it to individual students, and the students can then answer their questions Quite often I'll get them to do this, I'll get them to answer each other's questions and then I'll ask them to put on newsfeed what they think the class have progressed best at and what they think the class need most work at. That way rather than me going through all their results or getting long detailed feedback off them about their results, I can very quickly see on newsfeed exactly where they think the class are struggling and where they think the class are making outstanding progress. And that's a really good way of using Office 365 to get some peer assessment.